To use the laser cutter, we'll make the diagram of the parabola in Corel Draw. You'll want to start by opening a new page that's 18 inches wide and 6 inches high. This is our standard size of acrylic sheet for the ribs that will support the parabolic reflector. 18 inches wide, 6 inches high. On your screen will appear a rectangle representing 18 inches wide, 6 inches high. Imagine this made of acrylic, a clear plastic. To cut the parabola or to draw the parabola, we'll need to use the three-point curve, which is in the freehand curve section, freehand curve menu. Three-point curve will draw a parabola if you click and then drag across uh, hold down shift and this will be a horizontal line and then release when you reach the other side and then you can see it will draw this parabola and you can make the parabola any depth you want uh, I'm still holding down shift here if I re release the shift then your parabola can get skewed so hold down the shift it'll be a nice symmetric parabola and when you have the depth you like click your mouse and you have a parabola One of the first decisions you'll need to make here is what parabola do you want to draw? A parabola has a focus where all the light that comes in parallel to the axis of the parabola will be focused onto one particular point. So that's what the focus is. Um, so your focus will have to be a certain number of inches. Let's imagine that I make this a, a three inch focus and then the equation of the parabola is basically x squared over 4f where f is the focal distance from the vertex so if I imagine uh, making the focus at 3 inches then the equation of the parabola will be y equals x squared over 12. So this is what I will now graph by hand so I get an idea what what does this parabola look like. So my first point can be 0, 0. I'll make a t-chart here. x, y, uh, 0, 0. If x equals 2, y equals 4 twelfths and that is one third. So here's x equals two, y equals a third. I've got it scaled so each box is a half, so a third would be right about here. And the same is true in the negative direction. It's a symmetric about this zero point here. Uh, what if I go to x equals three? Now I've got nine over 12, which is three quarters. If x equals four, now I've got 16 over 12, that's one, that's four thirds, that's four thirds. That's one and a third, if you like that better. So here my t-chart is complete, and I can plot the points, three equals three quarters, four equals one and a third, one and a third, five is just a little bit more than two, so here's two, and a little bit more, and uh, x equals 6, y equals 3, which is right here. Okay, so there's my curve, and uh, if I just connect it by hand, I get a pretty good representation of my parabola, up at least until x equals 6. It's possible that you'll need to go past x equals 6. Maybe you need to go up to x equals 7 or 8. Depends on the curve that you're drawing. So here now I've sketched the parabola in both the positive and negative directions. The focus of three inches means that the light shoe will focus right here. And uh, basically this means that if the light were coming in here, it would bounce and focus on that point. And that's true anywhere on the parabola, is that it would focus on that point and this is why the para parabolic reflector is an excellent way of concentrating your light at a particular point.
we are planning to use a one and three quarter inch outer diameter tube so instead of a point here you should really envision something that uh, is a circle or maybe a half circle and its uh, radius would be seven eighths of an inch so something like this would be a half circle um, if you wanted to draw the other side it would look like this so this is where the the tube would lie the acrylic tube that will carry the water that we are focusing all the sunlight upon so this graph tells me what what parabola I want to create in Corel draw uh, the one I've drawn has a uh, the top opening here is 12 inches wide and the depth from the top of the parabola to the bottom is a three inch depth and that if I'm trying to make a parabola that focuses at three inches this is what I want to recreate in Corel Draw. One additional piece of information that I'll want to know for this curve is what's the actual arc length uh, if I used a 12 inch piece of plastic it wouldn't be able to make this curve because uh, the shortest distance between here and here is 12 inches this is clearly longer than that to calculate that arc length I'll use the help of Wolfram Alpha alright so here I'm at Google and I'm going to search for Wolfram Alpha which is a mathematics calculating program it can do many many things so now I need to tell it what I want to calculate so what I want is the arc length of a function which is y equals x squared over 12 so I have to write it x hat 2 slash 12 that's x squared over 12 and the bounds I want uh, start with x equals minus 6 all the way up to x equals plus 6. So this is what I'm telling it to calculate for me. I hit return and here's what I got. So first of all you want to check and make sure it has interpreted your input correctly. So arc length y equals x squared over 12. That's the correct function. The bounds are correct. And you can see there's uh, a an integral which you don't understand but there's a number which you do understand 13.7735 that would be the measurement in inches of the arc length going around the curve from negative six inches to positive six inches that's the answer so if you wanted to make your reflector it should have a length of 13.75 inches or so and it will fit into the slot you've cut into the acrylic.